music nerds only. I love that. Fresh off of Halloween, I'm finally getting around to this, which arrived well over a week ago. It's the band box pressing of the 1992 Lush album, Spooky. And in today's video, I'm gonna unbox it for you. And I'm gonna share my thoughts in a little bit of a vinyl review. Hey fellow music nerds, it's Andy from the Fence Post Vinyl Channel. If you like this sort of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, then ring that little bell so you're notified of new videos when they go live. Shoegaze has been going through a major renaissance of late and I am all for it. Lush is part of this resurgence with fresh reissues of all of their albums dropping this year, 2023. I have already shared here my clear vinyl pressing of the Spooky follow-up split. Let's take a look at Spooky, why don't we? I love the box, like I said, the music nerds only, you've got their social, this is cool stuff. First off, we get a nice little sticker of band box. You got the album Spooky, and we have this cool, lush band box, kind of like a magazine or something. They do this for all of their releases, their reissues. This came with all three of the different pressings. You've got Spooky, Split, and then Love Life, which I don't have. Wasn't really my favorite. So this is kind of cool. It really is just kind of like this cool little magazine that covers the band, all kinds of photographs, essays, and more. So B-roll Andy will be showing you all of this. Let's take a look at the vinyl. Now this is a limited edition orange pressing. It is out of stock already. So usually when it has a hype sticker, I tend to keep the hype sticker. I'm gonna definitely do that in this case as well. Standard cover, this is on all of the vinyl pressings. You've got Lush here, Spooky there, all these little bubbles of Lush this weird bracket of three things, and this interesting phallic amoeba. On the back, you've got the track list. Um, I love the design of this. I'm not sure I love it quite as much as that on Split, but the design looks good. On the inside, we have a printed inner sleeve. I kind of like that. That's kind of a cool little artsy piece. The design of this inner sleeve has some very, very similar design elements to the 12-inch uh, the single for Black Spring. I do like that a lot, that tie-in there. Uh, always kind of cool to see. The vinyl is this cool, opaque orange. I love how this looks. It's perfect for Spooky. You've got Lush written right there, Spooky on the other side. Just looks great. Like I said, this is currently sold out in the band box version, but the standard black and I believe clear reissues are still available. I'll have a link down in the description for that. Now for my thoughts. Digging in the surreal vocals of Mickey Berenny and Emma Anderson can be somewhat likened to those found in the music of, say, an artist that preceded them and kind of surpassed them as well, Cocteau Twins, but minus the gibberish. I hear it in tracks like Tiny Smiles. You also get some dreamy yet still somewhat angular guitar riffs, which to me draws some parallels to the early works by Pale Saints, which also harkens to some of that earlier 1980s Indian alt-rock bands from the UK. Uh, predominantly, I'm kind of thinking of like post-crazy rhythms works by the Feelies, for example, after they shed some of that heavier post-punk sound for their slightly mellower one. Or maybe even some of the more produced indie pop side of the 1980s C86 lo-fi twee movement. Obviously, more produced and more fleshed out. Favorites of mine from Spooky include Opener Stray and Nothing Natural. I also can't get enough of the song Ocean. It is just so, so good. Listening to the album digitally this past week, kind of getting ready for this, I was initially struggling to decide which I really like better, Spooky or Split. And the more I dug in, the more I'm leaning towards Spooky. Though Split really has some phenomenal one-off tracks and I think it sets the band apart a little bit more in terms of them truly developing their own sound. Of course, one of my favorite songs by Lush, Desire Lines, tends to be a, a fan favorite to begin with. But there's just something classic and nostalgic about Spooky that leaves me wanting more and more and 
more. And I think if you listen to a song like Ocean through headphones, you'll hear exactly what I'm talking about. The stereo qualities of the guitar shifting back and forth between your ears will give you chills. I absolutely love it. And now something that I'm doing for any of my vinyl reviews, which is pulling three albums from my collection to share with you if you like the band in question. So if you dig Lush, you'll probably enjoy these. Cocteau Twins. This here is my 2019 pressing of Milk and Kisses, their album from 1996. You might also like Pale Saints, in particular their debut LP from 1990 called The Comforts of Madness. This right here is not that. This is Miss Dolphin, and it's kind of a compilation of their works, and I believe it is on kind of a cool green marbled vinyl as well. Of course, Pale Saints was also on 4 AD, so there's a little bit of parallel there in terms of both being early shoegaze and being on that same label. Finally, here's a copy of The Good Earth from 1986. This copy right here is a remastered reissue from 2009 by The Feelies. And of course, if you dig spooky, check out this video right here of Split by Lush. You can also watch my cover of the comforts of madness right down here. I am Andy, this is the Fence Post Final Channel, and I will see you in the next video.